Yo, let me tell you, July was a hot financial mess of a month. Um, I don't know, you know the saying, I don't want to call it Murphy's Law or Murphy coming to visit. I'm not into all of that. But all I know is, um, yeah, July was just very, very financially interesting. So let's talk about it a little bit. Okay, so on the left side of the paper is what I originally projected or did my budget to be. And on the right side of the paper is what actually happened. Look at this nail. My nails get done tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Um, pink means I did better. Blue, a little bit worse. And that's what's happening. So I originally projected that I would make $12,170. I actually made $12,252. But let me tell you something. Two things happened. One, I did not receive $100 from a client that I was planning on receiving. And another client was supposed to pay about $800 and only pay like $410 in income. So, yeah, I was a little out of sorts about that. But the reason why it happened that I made more is because one, got the old, what was it? The, um oh, my income tax check. I had did an am amendment for 2014 and my tax due told me what I would be getting. Like it was like a little over two thousand dollars, maybe twenty five hundred and something. But then you know the tax people, the IRS, woohoo! They actually pay me interest, so I got a little bit more than I projected in that area. And then also I was able to work some overtime at work, so I got some more in that area. Gifts projected six fifty paid. Um, spent about 700 in gifts. I put a little plus sign beside that. You can see that right here. And the reason why is because I can't even complain. My friends and family, they be doing the thing. And so therefore, I be buying more gifts throughout the months for celebrations and achievements and accomplishments and all of that. So no complaints there. $95 HOA, $125 water. Water bill comes in once a quarter. This was the quarter that it was paid. Um, gas, 100 Electricity, 185 Ooh, yeah, yeah, $185. Cell phone, 245 Cable, $115. Securities, that is home security systems, $125. Insurances, all the insurances, whatever the insurances are, um, ga gas, Lord, car, health, home, something like that, $250. Lawn Dude, $120. Netflix, $10. And I spent the entire $150 I budgeted from my checking account, again, because July was a struggle month. My mama and them took them to see the color purple on Broadway. And this was super, super dope. And I originally budgeted $300 for that New York trip and only spent $225. So that was cool. May have helped because I was on a diet. Um, yes, we weren't. I wasn't eating like a crazy person. $85 for dry cleaning. $290 toward the Mediterranean vacation. That 290 went toward getting me a hotel in Amsterdam and a hotel in Rome. And let me tell you, save money in this area because I'm actually going to be splitting the Amsterdam. Oh, I'm actually going to be splitting the Amsterdam hotel with somebody. So that's pretty cool. Um, my I bought my airline ticket for Jamaica and spent a hundred and forty dollars on that and that was a combination of using my points which I'm at the bottom of the bucket of points right so it was points it was different credit card move around things different refunds from credit card deals and stuff like that so 140 for my round trip ticket business spent two hundred dollars seventy five dollars on tolls that wasn't budgeted as you you may have noticed last month I 
spent $95 in tolls this month, 75. And I know that's due to the New York trip because, um, you know, pay tolls going to New York. Yo, let me tell you, let me tell you, um, down here, my son's car, yo, first he blew a tire. So I had to go out there and rescue him from the side of the road with the tire situation. And that was cool. He knew how to change his tires. So of course that didn't cost anything. And, um, then we went to a used tire place and we got him a good used tire. He paid for his used tire. It was $45. Then I was like all super inspired and motivated. And I was like, yo, let's take your car to the shop and just get like a diagnostic. Let's get ahead of any issues that may pop up and, um, you know, see what may be needed. And let's figure that out. Before we could even make it to the shop dude's car would not start up luckily we were parked right next to a handicapped parking spot so therefore there was um plenty of space beside us and somebody seen us and he came over and he gave us a jump and the car jumped so we went ahead because our next stop we were running errands our next stop was going to be the the mechanics right so we drive to the mechanics shop and we let him know you know we want a diagnostic I didn't tell him about the car not starting anything like that want a diagnostic just want to see what may be needed what may be wrong what may be going wrong and just kind of you know start budgeting and strategizing for that so went back out to the car to start it up car would not start up again so needless to say we had to leave it there and they had said like something came off of the engine that was the first thing so I was like wow you know super blessed because we made it to the dealership engine did not fall apart while we were driving nothing blew up and we were in a safe place and we were in walking distance from our home so we started walking home and end up getting a ride I mean it was, it was it was a pretty good day all things considered but as you see right here 6 30 yo um why I can't even remember what was even wrong with the car. It turned out not to be the engine. So we did not have to get a new engine or anything like that. But it was, oh, I know. The oil, there was an oil leak. And the oil leak ended up like coating spot plugs and coils and a bunch of different things that they end up having to replace. And so that cost me $630. And, you know, my son, he is a student and he's a intern right now so he doesn't have a lot of money so I paid that the great thing I put a plus beside that is because I did not have to dip into my savings to cover that this right here that $12,252 I was able to pay for that out of that money and the other great thing was my son needs a car he interns in the opposite opposite <clears throat> direction from where I work so before we knew what was wrong we was like trying to figure out how he would get to work what kind of sacrifice I would have to make to get him to work and, and myself to work things like that if he was gonna have to get a new car everything so when it came time to pay that 630 I was super excited and now I, I think that was the best $630 I ever spent because he is still able to drive himself around so that was awesome also credit card fees that hit me this month. Um, clearly, I wasn't too sure about when that would be due. Being that I just started this budget in January and I hadn't been tracking. Um, so $450, that's for one of the credit cards I have. It has an annual fee of $450. For me, that fee is worth it. For a lot of people, it may not be. But I travel a lot. And some of the benefits of this car is, card are... Um, Airport lounges to two different lounge networks. Also, I get $250 in refunds back on airline tickets. And trust me, I get all of that $250 back because I am I travel. Um, and there's a lot of other great benefits. I think I also have global, the global travel, you know, like pre-TSA, the one for international travel. I have that. Um yeah, there's a lot of perks. And if you guys ever been in the VIP lounges, they are well worth it because it's free alcohol, it's free drinks, it's free food. So whenever I go to airports, I hunt out the lounges first, the priority lounges and the VIP lounges. 
I don't even know if it's called VIP. I don't know. I don't made myself a VIP. So yeah, so that's worth it, the four fifty. Um, so that came up. Yo, also, we anybody who's been following my videos for a minute knows that back in January, my cell phone died. The digitizer stopped working and I refused to pay the upgrade fee. So I just went back to an old phone I had and was using that. This month, with so much travel traveling going on, I called my cell phone provider to try to get an international plan. And guess what? <clears throat> Turned out my phone was so old that it wasn't even supported anywhere else in the world ever, 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 ever again anymore. So therefore, I had to buy, I didn't have to buy, but I chose to buy a new cell phone. I used my son's two-year upgrade and therefore a cell phone that was originally $700. I have the Samsung, I have the Galaxy S7. So $700, I paid like $250. For that, the rest of it was like the activation fee and things like that. So that's why I end up spending two ninety five on a cell phone, which came right on time because we all know that Pokemon Go was released, and my old phone would not have been able to support it. My new phone supports it, and I play, and it actually helps with the budget because I am doing a lot of free entertaining um, this month, August, and the end of July. So we'll see that in the fun, the fun and budget video. Um. Ugh. This one right here, like I said, y'all, oh, it has just been a rough month, a little bit. <laughs> so what had happened was I originally used about 70,000 points getting my airline ticket to Amsterdam and returning from Rome. I was super ecstatic about that and, um, I felt good about my tickets and everything. And then something came up where the tickets I had, I was not allowed to use. And I called the provider, my, my, my credit card provider, the airline and everything. And I did not get insurance. So the tickets were non-refundable and I could not exchange them for a different flight because all the flights had the same situation that I was not allowed to be in. Um, yeah. <sighs> and so what do I learn from this lesson? It's probably best to buy the insurance, the travel insurance, especially if you work jobs where you know you're not always flexible to leave when you think you was going to leave and you have to change the dates and things like that um you know yeah it's a lesson learned this is the first time I ran into this situation so with that being said I had to buy another plane ticket and the plane ticket I purchased ended up costing $1,370 I leave in less than a month, hence the high cost of this ticket. Also, I decided to, you know what, make the best out of this situation. At first, I was a little bit down that I wasted and lost points that I had been saving up just for this trip and the fact that I had to pay my own cash money for a new ticket. But I said, you know what, let's look on the bright side. The bright side is... This did not put me in a financial hardship. I had the money. I realized that this could make or break anybody else's vacation where it could be like, you know what? I can't even go. Or they would have to go and borrow money or put it on a credit card or do something just to be able to still go. So I'm super blessed that I I had the money. I had the money in this money. Like I did once again, I did not have to dip into my savings and I could do nothing but celebrate that. And so I decided to get a one-way straight ticket, no layover, going there and getting there, getting to Amsterdam as early as possible. And then I also decided to go ahead and stay another day in Rome and leave like at noon. I think my original ticket was leaving at six in the morning. So now I'll be leaving at noon. I'm going to stay another day and I'm just going to make the best of it because I'm pretty sure this money right here, $1,370, 
I will make that back again in no time. So we can't even be sad about that. And, you know, I'm just fortunate that I'm able to travel so much and go to so many wonderful places around the world. Um, also, what happened next? Rental. My rental unit had a plumbing issue and that was $135 that I paid. Um, I forgot about this. I had the bushes in front of my house pruned and that was $60. And I feel good about that because my original lawn guy, guy quoted me more than that amount. And so I was able to negotiate with somebody else and that's what I paid. And he did a great, great, great job. I will use him more in the future. This piece down here is where we um, compare what we spent uh, compared to the month before. Again, we're still uh, going ham on the spending. I spent $70 last month in gas. This month I spent $182. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. I know 70 is a little lower, but 182 is a little high. Restaurants. This I didn't highlight this because it's it's about the same. Sixty four dollars last month, seventy dollars this month. But check out these groceries. And this is why I told you guys in one of the videos, one of the videos before this, I'm on a diet. And yo, it turned out I can't eat junk food. It turns out junk food is cheap. It turns out free food is fattening. And so last month I spent one hundred and thirty eight dollars again food that may not have been as healthy and food that was uh, free and it made me gain weight so now this month I spent $377 in groceries I know I can do better because I went to Whole Foods a lot I bought things off the hot bar a lot yeah so mm, I can do better in that area miscellaneous spent $120 last month spent $285 this month and we will see what I purchased when we do the spending analysis, but that's what happened right there. Now, I told you guys last month that I was on track to reach my six month saving goal, meaning that for six months, if I lost my job, if I, if all my income dried up, I would be able to pay all of my expenses, you know, my normal expenses for six months out of my savings. And even with all of this craziness happening, I made my goal. I said I was going to do 2100 in savings and I actually did 2230 The reason why I did a little bit more is because, as you see, some of this stuff right here, especially I think it was this one right here, this 135 for my rental for the plumbing, I had to refund that back right here and so but the bottom line is yo I have a six months of savings saved up of my living expenses saved up so I met that goal I'm happy about that but check this one out oh I put zero that's wrong okay I said I was gonna do six thousand four hundred and eighty five dollars to my mortgage this should not be zero what this should be is 3100 I paid 3100 on my mortgage. I did not send an extra red cent to my mortgage because I used it doing this. I was able to pay my mortgage, so I I think that's great. <laughs> um I don't I don't feel bad about not sending anything extra to my mortgage because I did not send take anything from my savings I made my goal of saving up six months of living expenses and I was able to not charge anything or have to go into any sort of debt to handle these emergencies that popped up so it's all good um and I think the bottom line is I need more money wait hold on, I'm trying to put my marker top back on I know a lot of people look at this up here, this 12000 that I made in one month. This is after taxes. This is after everything I send to my 401k. This is after my um, insurances and things that are taken out of my paycheck. And I do send, I do 12% of my monthly 
income to 401k. This is after all that. So I know a lot of people are like, wow, you know, I make a pretty good income. And I do. But I'm also, I, I, I live, I live an interesting life. And I want to continue living an interesting life. So I need more money. I need more money. That's the bottom line. This was July. I'm not sad. I'm not depressed. It's all good. I'm all blessed. But it was a hot mess. All right, y'all. This is how I spent the month. How did you guys spend your month? What is the story your moolah is revealing about you?